my name is john chandrasekhar hod instrumentation today we are going to discuss about how to prepare a piping and instrumentation diagram end id somewhere else they may call process and instrumentation diagram also both are same this is a very big subject so there are n number of pndds in the world refineries petrochemicals specialty chemicals so each one have their own unique uh templates and unique symbols so once you go through this all presentation you will come to know all the piping and instrumentation symbol suitable symbols to develop the piping system and the specification of the process instrumentation equipment piping walls fittings and their arrangement in the pnd for the process plant after complete this training session you will come to know all the basic things configuration of pndds the following types of pnd shall be prepared pnd for individual units this is the pnd for the individual units composing the on site utility and off site utilities there is a simple pnd simple pnd is it is called individual units maybe in a refinery we got different different units maybe cdu vdu maybe poker plant sulfur recovery plant fcc fluid catalyst cracking so individual pnd is we can prepare maybe utility common facilities utilities maybe it will be another set of pnd is that we can prepare so one more utility flow diagram is there that is called uft it's similar like our pfd process flow diagram this shows the distribution flow for the utilities between on site facilities and utility headers which shall be prepared according to the main pipe rack or sleeper planning to the respective area because since it is a utility it's a common utility for entire process plan so it will go through a pipe rack and headers from the individual sub headers will be going to that particular plant area process area so that main header and main supply lines will be in a separate pnd and sub gutter belong to that particular unit it will be mentioned in that pndd okay configuration of pnds pnd for process utility and interconnecting pipe this is the pnd showing the interconnection between the units this diagram covers at least the following information sheet size and title block a1 size we know a3 a4 like that letter size and this is the a1 size but here it is the a3 size but in you are doing in the cad it will be in a1 iso size this is the standard size as a sample title block was attached as that is then we have to give the unit number we have to give the unit number this is the unit number okay then drawing number we have to give the drawing number unit what i told unit is the cd video coker like that it is a different different units unit name then each unit they have their own drawing number okay some sample drawing number i have given pnd for legends and general notes that is called d dash 00 1 2 2 5 1 0 1 it may be 10501 or 5000 maybe i don't know the words then pnd for individual units and individual section it is called 1225 this 1225 is the unit the particular unit okay then 101 is a first pnd number it may go up to 100 200 300 like that so each unit you have the start with the unit number then pnd okay these are the symbols and abbreviations used in the pndd instrumentation symbology there are different symbols will be there these are instrument symbols similarly equipment symbols will be there equipments also two types of equipments rotary equipments and static equipments so that symbol will be there then process symbol will be also it is there process symbol then mechanical symbol piping symbol then electrical symbols will be also 
different type of symbols. This is the instrumentation symbology. T A is temperature indicator. This first letter T, so second letter I, so T A. If it's T T, then temperature transmitter. T R temperature recorder. T C temperature controller. Similarly, you can go through all this thing. Somewhere it may be pressure indicating controller. P I C. It will control as well as do the indication also. Okay. Then somewhere it is pressure controlling rec uh, recording controller. Pressure recording controller. It will record the pressure. Some graph, recording graph or something. Okay. So similarly, analyzer transmitter AT. Okay. In below diagram, if you see FIC one horizontal line below 55. F is the value being measured. If it is flow, F. If it is a pressure, it will be P. If it is a temperature, it will be T. Then what it does? It is a indicating, okay? Or it is controlling like that, recording like that. Next, it is an instrument. It is a controller. So basically, it is a flow control controller. Flow controller. 55 is the loop number. Control loop number. That loop number. The horizontal line shows remote location. Remote location means from DCS. From the DCS or any PLC or any SCADA, it will control that one. The dotted line is the remote location behind the control panel. Behind the control panel means it is doing the functionality but you cannot see the control action there will be no monitors okay maybe inside the one cabinet okay then last circle is the field mount there are several instrument symbols and operations are there that sheets are available you can go through that sheets this again the symbols and abbreviations. The same thing I have mentioned in the word. Okay. So you can go through this one and accordingly you have to mention in the paint. Sometimes if you use one flow element or if it is a flow element then you have to mention FE. The paint. Understand? These are another set of symbols and abbreviations. Pressure switch, pressure indicating controller, pressure control wall, pressure recording controller. This is another type of symbols that is abbreviation. This is the symbol. If it is a straight line instrument supply, otherwise it is a process line also. It's in the PNAD, it is a straight line means it is an instrument supply or process connection also. These are the various uh, control wall body symbols and damper symbols and electrical signal, hydraulic signal, capillary tube, uh, pneumatic signal, mechanical link, then software data links. So similarly, n number of hundreds of signal symbology will be there. This is another type of lines, line symbols. That is the signal, signal symbols. These are line signals, process flow line. Instrument supply or process connection inverse line. I told them that both are same similarly, but process flow line may be a little bit bigger. Then wave guide, undefined, the similar thing only, radio link, sonic or other waves. Then this is the letter. This table shows the what are the first letter and what defines. A mean analyzer. B, C, D, you can define based upon your process and your technology. E is voltage, F is flow, I, uh, H is the hand, I is the current. So similarly, A, B, C, D up to Z. First letter and second modifier. What is the modifier? If, if it is a measuring value, F, flow. If it is the modifier, it shows fraction. There's, there will be a difference between the modifier and measuring variable. 
okay if it is f of then flow fraction you understand f flow first then flow fraction like that modify then read out function also succeeding letters first letter and succeeding letters also there if it is a g user define here it is glass cage high alarming so n number of this letter abbreviation also is there this is the instrument function symbols instrument function instrument symbol is different from instrument function what type of function it is doing so what is the full round is the circle is the field mounted okay if it is inside a square shared instruments shared instruments means it is a dc the reading is shared somewhere else okay pressure cage is the field mounted it is not sharing any value but the pressure transmitter is sharing a value to dcs the person who are sitting that is called shared instruments so it is circle inside the square okay if it is one cross line main control panel front, front mounted means some local package instruments or local panels like compressor panels lcp ucp you can see these cages front mounted front mounted it may be front mounted there are different types of mounting is there okay then again this this also main control panel front mounted this shared instruments also next cross line similarly we have lot of instrument functional symbols okay you go through that one logic is a uh, diamond computer function is a hexagonal okay uh this last double uh, dotted lines me auxiliary control panel rear mounted you cannot access that one it is rear mounted back mounted like that this is control wall and damper symbols different type of control walls general symbol one control wall will be like that only angle wall will be like that only butterfly rotary wall three way wall four way wall globe wall diaphragm these are the dampers louvers we used it these dampers in the blowers some boilers so air blowers dampers louvers will be there air conditioning louvers will be there so this symbol is we have to use in that one this is actuators control wall and shutdown walls blow down walls different type of actuation will be there so first one is a diaphragm type if it is a semi circle like that it's a diaphragm if it is m denoted then it's called motor driven yes solenoid normally this solenoid will come for shut down walls and blow down walls on off walls okay it's a discrete on or off piston the piston valve is again it's on off wall sometimes sometimes it can be used as a control wall also this piston will be moved by air or hydraulic oil air or hydraulic <coughs> the diaphragm with hand jack so there will be some hand jack sometimes if you want to open a wall manually then you have to use that jack so different different actual symbols are there then diaphragm with positioner the first one is a diaphragm without positioner the last row is the diaphragm with positioner that you have to show that p small p in that one this uh, piston valve also with positioner it shows the its position which position it is there open position close position at 30 percent open at 50 percent open close it will give the feedback position feedback okay is another type of symbols symbols for wall failure mode in this slide you are showing this walls below that wall you have to show fo fc fl like that you have to show 
the small letters two letters fail open means f o fail locked f l <coughs> fail closed f c so that when instrument ear failure or signal failure this valve go to open or close function we have to mention in this our p and id okay this is a simple for flow measurement devices different type of flow measurement devices orifice plate is there pitot tube is there averaging pitot tube positive displacement turbine coriolis flow meter vortex vortex with this small one uh, triangle rotometer okay magnetic means you have to put m ultrasonic means you have to put that waves inside flow nozzle you have to put a small nozzle like that then venturi v cone meter okay you see the difference between the v cone meter and vortex meter what vortex meter and v cone meter hmm? there is looking similarly but only one small pan will be there small that is there because both are working in a similar principle similar principle there will be some but the analysis will be different okay this is equipments till now we have seen instrument symbols wall symbols then letter abbreviations now this is equipments there are two types of equipments one is the static equipment and this is the rotating equipments stream numbering and drawing the stream number each process line have their own stream so maybe the feed having one stream the catalyst following one stream some utility may follow water or air nitrogen it will another stream so each stream has their own numbers left to right always process stream always goes to left to right you should not make a stream from right to left okay but sometimes we will have a streams from other unit or other pages it may come from left to right or right to left but normally process will go from left to right that's why we mention as much as possible okay horizontal lines are dominant the horizontal line first one is the yes others are no these two configurations are not allowed you have to give dominant to the horizontal line Any, anywhere you have to give the this horizontal lines are dominant lines if any lines crossing that one that may be broken you have to show as a break lines but you should not break the horizontal main lines that is very important but you can see in number of projects the major mistake they have done like that only the draftsman did the mistake the process engineer may not notice this one because it's a very micro level you may not notice this one if you want to see all this cross line it will take a time so better at least you give a instruction to your draftsman this is the allowed okay dominant line horizontal lines are dominant then instrument numbering always there will be a coding how to represent a tack number instrument tack numbers each project have their own tacking philosophy normally each project and licensor they will give, give their tacking and numbering philosophy accordingly we have to to do the tacking instrument tacking but normally this is the common practice x y y c z z l l x represent the process variable to be measured like we have shown one table the table a h l like that all a b c d alvarium will be there so t is temperature f is flow p is pressure level like that then next two letters y y type of instruments 
type of instrument symbology also we have seen it is a indicator controller recorder like that we have seen okay then c designates the instruments area within the plant designate the instrument area within the plant if it is a different area that tack is coming here that signal that number is different okay you are getting one raw material from different plant or some chemical from different plant so that number will be different from this unit okay then is that is that designate the process unit number ll designate the loop number last is the loop See, this is the typical example of that one. Instrument numbering. LIC1003. L is level. The second two letters indicating controller. It's like a recorder. Like that. Then, 100 is the process unit. Okay. Area number one. one. First number is 100, maybe 200, 300 area, 400 area. It depends upon the licensor. They will split the unit number, area number. It's not necessary, you have to put always 100. Maybe it starts with 500, 600, or 123. I don't know. But the licensor or the EPC contractor can assign, or there will be some numbering philosophy. The document will be there. How to you have to put the numbers. Okay. Then 03 is the loop number. This is the third loop. Maybe 001 may be available. Layout of equipment. In a PNAD, how to place the equipment? There is some thumb rule is there. We cannot just like that place the equipments or instrument as our convenient. Okay. There is a thumb rule. Internationally practiced thumb rules are there. As much as possible, we have to Follow that practice. We should not keep this equipment conveniently. It may understand to you. It may not be understand to others, operators or some other person who are referring the document. Okay. Sheet is divided into four horizontal sections. And equipment such as towers, drums, tanks, air cooled heat exchangers and furnaces will be shown in upper two now you see the sample p and id i divided this p and id into four section four, four quarters one two three four the first two always is static equipments columns vessels tanks like that second third is exchangers and pumps fourth always pumps pumps and drains like that only this also you see two exchangers uh, columns below two pumps are there. layout of equipment sheet is divided into four horizontal section and equipment such as towers drums tanks air cooled heat exchangers and furnaces will be shown in the upper two sections heat exchangers will be placed in the third quarter and pumps and compressors in the lower section such arrangement is a typical model and the flexibility to suit the particular situations and allow a more realistic representations. Sometimes there may be a slight deviations, but normally we have to follow this rule only, thumb rule. The equipment number and service name for each major item shall be placed on the top of the sheet and directly over the equipment as nearly as practical. The equipment Number shall also be shown alongside the equipment. The static equipment, the number, the number of the static equipment should be in the top. The equipment service, which service, what is the size, what are the basic parameters, it should be the top as much as possible. Sometimes we can put it in the near the equipment also. Normally, this information will be in the top. This pump, that will be top, that information. But equipment shall also be shown alongside the equipment. 
alongside the equipment. Okay. Then PA and should have enough space for further detail information, which will be provided in later stage. Okay. If some information is not available at this stage, okay, but that is required to construct the PA and Maybe some pump information. You know the type of the pump. But the pump information may not be available because the vendor is not giving the information right now. So you have to give some space for that one. You should not place any other equipment or pumps nearby. The later stage editing will be difficult. Then you have to rearrange all those things. Better now itself you give a, for example, this one. Information is not available, you put a some blank space. At a stage, we can add it. Arrangement period, line, line arrangement. A process line entering or leaving a unit shall be terminated at the bottom of a sheet with sheet connection symbol, which indicates the fluid name, the source or destination unit, equipment name, referred to A and B on the illustration below. Okay. A process line entering or leaving a unit. I mentioned earlier there are different types of unit. Okay. Maybe ethylene is produced in one plant, one unit, unit number one. Here one polyethylene plant will be there. They are making the polymer. This is unit number three, maybe five. So from unit number one to Unit number 3, from unit number 3 to unit number 4, maybe different units, then A and B is the symbology. A and the B is the symbology. Accordingly, you have to, it is going or coming. Okay. This side connectors that, these connectors are within a unit. Understand? This is within a process line entering or leaving a sheet shall be terminated at the side of the sheet. Terminated at the side of the sheet with sheet connection symbol. Okay? It is within a unit but going to another sheet only. Okay? If the process line is going to the sheet with greater drawing number, the process line shall go to the right. And if it is to a lower number, it shall go to the left. You understand? For example, sheet number 2. From sheet number 2, it is going to sheet number 7. Then it should be in the right side. If sheet number 7 to it is coming to sheet number 3 or 4, it should be in the <coughs> left hand side. Okay? In the connectors, the fluid name, the source or destination, destination equipment, maybe it is going to a vessel, it is going to be a compressor. Number, the drawing number also, which drawing number it is going, okay, and it shall be in indicated in sheet connection symbol. So, sheet connection symbol, you have to show the which page it is going, which equipment it is going, that PNAD number, you have to mention. The last one is continuation lines in the same unit between sheets shall match with the heights from sheet to sheet. You understand this line? Okay. For example, one example, one, this line is going to sheet number 3. Okay. This is the first quarter. The next sheet also it will be in the first quarter. The same. So there will be some A, B, C, D will be the side of the P and D. A, B, C, D numbering will be there. Okay. Will be there. So, the same height you have to match. Here it is the bottom, there it will be at top. This is a, practically we have to match. If small corrections may be there. When we are drawing the PNAD, it may not be correct exactly, but as much as possible, we have to continuation lines the same unit between sheets shall match with the heights. From sheet to sheet. Okay, what same thing what we discussed. 
arrangement pane ID, sheet connection symbol. Connector inside of a unit shall include three digits of pane ID or UFID sheet number and fluid name and source or destination equipment item number shall be indicated beside the connector. Typical connection symbols are shown below. One process line XXX and YYY. This is going another sheet. Inside the unit. This is inside the unit. The top we have to, the line, horizontal line top, you have to mention the fluid name, bottom equipment. It is going to compressor or pump or vessel. The fluid name is maybe fuel gas, nitrogen or cooling water or whatever oxygen we have to mention. In a similar way, coming from so fluid name, equipment, from which equipment it is going, from which equipment it is coming, we have to distinguish. If it is going another unit, it should be a box, rectangular box, then fluid name from two equipment, which equipment it is going, then that contractor drawing number is very important. That PNAD number. Okay. Then utility number. Utility may be coming from a common facility. It may be within a unit also. So we have to put a square one rectangular block and we have to mention the ABC is a fluid port. There are different type of ports are there for the utility lines. N2, O2, then uh, CW, CR, cooling water return, cooling water supply, CS. Like that we have codes are there for utility. Okay. We have to use that. <coughs> FG is a fuel gas. Like that. We have to mention inside FG. Similar process line. We have to use the instrument signal line also. Signal also from one unit to another unit it may go or one within a unit, one PNAD to another sheet it will go. The similar arrangements only, we have to mention that instrument tag number, then which upstream or downstream which it is going, okay. then that particular drawing number, PNAD number we have to mention. This flow signal is going to control your flow wall some other unit or some other sheet later stage. If it is outside unit, it is a <coughs> rectangular box. Now we are going to see typical arrangement for battery limit walls. The streams coming from the other units or within the units, the battery limit, what type of walls configuration we have to put to isolate the process. The wall arrangement type such as single block, double block, Bleeder and blind provision should be selected as follows. The following table shows only typical selection of battery limit arrangement for each service. Therefore, different type of arrangements or means may be selected if there is certain process reason or company's practices. This is a general practice for a battery limit. But inside the process, it may be different depends upon the company standards, international standards or some company, each company have their own standard. Aramco standard, British standard, Shell standard, Qatar Petroleum standard, Tabic standards are there. Accordingly, they may recommend the isolation system, block systems, double single block or double block <coughs> like that. This table shows the service then how to isolate? Is it a single block or a double block? Then the bleeder. Bleeder means the drain. How to drain that isolated liquid? Then whether spectacular bright is required or not. If you see the service, most of the critical services, hydrocarbon services, toxic gases, corrosive nature, and steam, very hot streams, all required double isolation. If you see the utility waters and air, instrument air, cooling water, it is required a single block and there is no <laughs> spectacle blind. Okay. Then again this uh, flare header, single block, fuel gas having a double block. Since it is a hydrocarbon, fuel gas requires double block. This is a typical arrangement of a single block isolation. There is a pressure cage is there. 
one isolation valve is there one three fourth inch blind is there this is outgoing simulator is outgoing <coughs> bl is the battery limit this is incoming this is outgoing incoming stream it is outgoing stream okay this is a double block isolation arrangement so incoming it is a parallel isolation if it is outgoing it is a series serial one next to one like that so two walls will be closed and the <coughs> three four two drain will be open if it is a major shutdown or major problem the spectacle blind will be reversed and it will be put in we will blind the stream now we have to show the instrumentation required for the process battery limit okay utility lines as well as our field lines <coughs> what are the instruments required for which stream whether it's a local or for dcs indications this table clearly shows for example if you take feed uh, stream stream line flow is required very important how much stream is flowing then flow instruments there is available but the indication will be available in the dcs but there is no local indication temperature instrument is there there is no local temperature gauge but process, uh, pr pressure instrument there is no dcs indication only it is local maybe if you require you can give but this is general guidelines if you are uh, your standard our company wants i want a pressure indication at dcs also you can give this is a minimum requirement minimum requirement the others which is not required maybe if you want you can put it in your design but if a steam without dcs indication you may not make a pna you understand okay this is utilities raw water plant water instrument air plant air nitrogen fuel gas so flow temperature pressure instrument so if the circle is uh, denoted required x is denoted uh, not required <coughs> you refer the table accordingly you have to put the instrument indications instrument availability in the pnad okay next is another Uh, area of designing in the pnad okay till now we have discussed about the normal flow lines streams utility lines and reaction reactors and uh, different equipments instrument symbols but this is winter station production this lines the process industries may be constructed in different parts of the world most of the industries in the gulf and uh, europe and in us western countries their temperature the climatic condition may be worst so accordingly we have to do some winter station production that production signal <coughs> signal shall be mentioned in the pnad okay winter station production shall be considered for the fluid which has higher pore point or solidifying point than the lowest ambient temperature when the low, ambient temperature goes below higher pore point means is more viscous it may solidified or condensate maybe it choke the line there we have to give some protection okay different type of liquids and different type of protections will be there hydrocarbon liquid normally flowing lines there are two types of lines are there normally flowing lines <coughs> normally no flowing lines in the process line is the normally flowing line winter station production winter sink production shall be considered for the fluid which has a higher pore point or solidifying point than the lowest ambient temperature if the ambient temperature goes below some liquid or some uh, process uh, uh, gases or something tend to solidify process liquids crude lines some crude having more wax maybe have more uh, condensate they may have so it will tend to uh, solidify 
spike lesion that it will have so that viscous will be more so it will be solidified the line so that type of line required this heat, heat tracing it may be steam tracing or maybe a electrical heat tracing normally flowing lines <coughs> bare piping sometimes it's a hot insulated pipes the line itself hot insulation but still we require a heat, heat tracing or electrical tracing because in the liquid having a tendency to solidified within 12 hours of stoppage normally no flowing lines steam trace is not required for startup lines some lines we not required this steam tracing or heat tracing is not required because this is a temporary setup once the operation finished then it will be removed okay sometimes we require a steam bulge correction also because after stopping the line if any liquid condensate uh, solidified inside we have to heat and we have to flush it so for that you have to show the steam flushing line connection in the pnd you have to show that this is a connection okay in this winterization protection some simples we have to use hot insulation steam jacket steam tracing okay if it is a steam uh, heat conservation means that insulation we have to do some insulation hot insulation cold insulation so just letter h j t we have to remember this letters only if it is a winter atmospheric temperature due to temperature if you want to uh, save the process heating the process then you have to put the w winter station normally these euro countries very cold countries this symbol will be there but normal uh, this uh, east asia and gulf countries may not be these symbols you may not be that pnd will be not be seen that these are the some different types of instrument how the steam tracing or heat tracing will be given to that this one okay <coughs> this is a from the header we no need to give the steam tracing or heat tracing for the header lines only for our battery limit lines only so similarly high pore point to low lower pore point we no need to give only high pore point only we have to give the steam tracing or heat tracing this is different type of <coughs> drain and open closed drain and open drain so each process line there should be a drain even this process equipment also there will be a drain okay when you are going to work with that line or you are going to do anything maintenance or even you want to start the process again you want to drain it there will be a closed drain as well as the open drain depends upon the criticality of the process fluid it will be closed drain or open drain if it's a water it may be open drain if it is a hydrocarbon or corrosive acid it should be a closed drain okay is the one example of amine drain amd is the amine so we have to show the fluid adhesion code this symbol you have to follow in your pnd 3 4 inch isolation uh, sorry drain line they have given bleed line that is bleed line these two isolation wall double isolation and one spectacle plate okay this is open drain this system will be categorized into two parts one is oily water and other is semi clean water okay normally this water any machinery cleaned water or normal cooling water or something it will go to open drain so open drain have a funnel type this one so you can give this symbol according to your process requirement if it is os oily water ss is semi clean water the trip funnel shall be indicated on the pnd when drainage shall be lead to the oil sewer water the underground piping for the closed drain shall be sloped minimum 1/500 and slope symbol shall be indicated in the pnd the slope symbol on a triangle like that 1 is 2000 1 is 100 1 is it should be by gravity flow it should go all drain lines it will go gravity flow this is the final slide uh, with the basic uh, pnd preparation this is the final slide termination type vent and drain which are open to atmosphere shall be equipped with a single block wall 
screwed cap or blind flange a screwed cap end and blind flange end shall be classified based on the following rules okay there are some rules based upon the rules you have to select whether it's a cap or it's a blind okay screwed cap end 300 rating and lower and one and a half inches and smaller cs piping it should be a screw okay if it is more higher rating means pressure is more <coughs> higher meaning is 600 600 above 300 is lower after that 600 900 1000 like that it will go but higher rating if the line size is 2 inches okay any size of size for alloy steel or stainless steel we have to give a prime okay if it is cs piping 2 inches and above if it is alloy or stainless steel any size but 600 rating okay you have to do the flying branch end. this should be shown in your pn rating cap if, since it is a rating is less we are using the screw cap if the rating is higher the pressure rating may be more so the screw cap will damage there will be a possibility of leak from the threads that's why we should not give a screw cap in the higher rating okay that's all today we will end up with this discussion next session we will go to line uh, sizing line numbering uh, then what is the line break glass breaking line sizing then we will go to complicated loops pressure controller uh, feed forward controller cascade controller like that we will discuss that okay thank you